Where do you think he got all this hair from? Honestly, I think it's more from <laughs> my... It's from me. I donated it to him. <laughs> You're welcome. Whoa, where's, we're, we already have to give him a haircut. He's a minute old. We already need to give him a haircut. He wanted to throw a spanner in the works. A spanner? A wrench. We're going to talk what? a little bit more. Uh, it's we're a gonna spanner. Pick up. Hiccup. Hiccup. <laughs> On a scale from like zero to full blown crunchy, I'm at like a solid eight. Okay, uh, it's gone. Hey there, folks. I'm Sean the Modern Yeoman. You see that house? It's our house. Our baby was born there. So in the previous video, I said that I wouldn't release my next video until Henry was born. Well, Henry was born. I was gonna say a few weeks ago, <laughs> it's just a few days ago, but it feels like a few weeks. To be honest, I haven't, I haven't done much since he was born. Well, we've done many things, but in terms of actually getting a lot of stuff done, I've found myself just spending hours sitting and looking at Henry. <laughs> As if I was reading a novel or something, just sitting there, looking at him. It's hard to describe, it's hard to articulate just what that feeling is like <laughs> to meet the person that you've been, the person that you helped create and that you've been waiting for for the better part of a year, nine, 10 months. And I can sit here and try to articulate those feelings and talk about them, or I could just introduce you to the guy and tell about, uh, have, Holly and myself tell you a little bit about that experience. So let's go do that. So I was gonna make a grand entrance and introduce you to Henry, but I've been waiting now for 20 minutes because Henry got fussy and hungry and he's feeding now. And it made me realize it's a preamble to meeting young Henry. This is Henry's world now, Henry's the boss. And so I'm gonna wait. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Ladies and gentlemen, yo folks, I'd like you to meet, you know Holly. Yes, hello. <laughs> I'd like you to meet the yo baby, little Henry. Little Henry. It took him, what would you say, Holly? 30 minutes to settle down? Well, it, 30 minutes at least just to nurse. He Maybe was 45, hungry. he's never, like that was his longest feed yet. It's cause he knew, he was like, oh, mom and dad are filming, let me just, I'm gonna eat for a really long time. I think he knew he wanted to throw a spanner in the works. A spanner? A wrench. We're gonna talk what? a little bit more. Ab it's we're a gonna spanner. We're gonna talk a little <laughs> bit more about baby Henry and his journey to join us here at the Yostead. But I'm gonna set up a tripod and I'm gonna give the camera to Holly. All right. Say hi, Henry. Oop. <laughs> That's why I need a new... Daddy's tripod is not working very well. One of the first things that you notice about Henry is how much hair he has. I'll show B-roll of him right now. He's got a lot of hair for somebody that's four days old. 
<laughs> we made a joke with my dad, which you'll probably see. We did. I don't think he got the hair gene from my dad. I still have my hair. <laughs> but I think he got the hair gene from his mama. I came out with quite a because quite a Holly bit of hair. came out with a lot of hair. So yeah. So we wanted to introduce you guys to, like I said, the mm -hmm. newest little yeoman here on the homestead. The yo baby. The yo baby, and he's here. He's again four days old, and it was quite a quite a special time bringing him here. So a lot of people, I'm not sure, know. But we decided to have a home birth. Yeah, on a scale from like zero to full blown crunchy, I'm at like a solid eight. <laughs> Some people would say more than that. I'll give myself an eight. So I knew from the beginning that um, I wanted a home birth and the home, home birth was the right journey for us. And now, one thing I've learned being pregnant and now having a baby is that like everybody has an opinion about what you're doing and what you're not doing. And um, the whole world of birth and children and parenting can be very controversial, you know, just like anything in life that matters. Um, and so like, as we share our birth story, like, I just want to say like, there's no right way to do birth and everybody has to take the journey that is right for them. But we felt very strongly that a home birth was the right path and the right choice for us and that we would feel the best about it. Um, and also, I just think it's so, so very important to share positive birth stories because there, um, there's so much fear and misinformation and um, people love to tell like birth horror stories. And so, you know, Sean and I, like our journey to having Mr. Henry, um, we sought out a lot of positive birth stories. You know, we sought to fill our minds with positive images of what was possible and we listened to podcasts and we watched mm -hmm. videos poor Sean I made him watch like 500 birth videos it's very educational <laughs> um and so we kind of feel like it's our duty to to pay it forward and to share our positive birth story because we had an amazing birth it was incredible um I mean I'm the one that birthed I keep saying we but like he was such a trooper and he did he was so supportive and did so good. So it, it's we're filming this. It's Monday evening, and Henry was born Thursday. Thursday afternoon. Like I was saying in the intro, the past few days have been a blur, partly due to the fact that there's this new human being here with us that we created. Also due to the fact that we haven't gotten much sleep. Yeah. Well, Henry's <laughs> figuring out his sleep schedule. Um, he. I think enjoys being up from around 11 to p.m. to about 4 a.m. Those are his uh, party, get things party, done, party, 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 hours. party time. <laughs> um, he does not like to sleep at all during that time. So we're still figuring that out. I think that's a pretty normal thing for it babies. Is, yeah. Um, so we're the past few days have been a blur, but we wanted to get a video out and give you guys a... A little taste into how it went down. Hiccup. <laughs> Hiccup. 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 <laughs> Ooh, I felt something. Something moving in there. So last Thursday. I get up in the morning at my typical time. It's a little after seven and Holly comes in and she comes into the bedroom. Normally she wakes up about the same time I do or a little bit later. So I was like, I looked and the bed wasn't occupied. The bed was empty. She was not in the bed. Shortly after I wake up, she walks in the door and she says, I think I'm in labor. Yep. And it had started for me, um, so September 22nd, it started for me around 1230 in the morning. I thought I had an upset stomach. I was like, oh, bless you. maybe bless you, buddy. I thought, um, oh, I, I took too much magnesium supplement yesterday and now my bowels are paying for it. Um, and I just like had to go to the bathroom a lot. And uh, I was in denial for several, several hours. I was from about 12.30 to 3.30, I was like, oh, I have an upset stomach, this is nothing. And then around 3.30, 4 in the morning, I was like, oh, I think, I think these are contractions. 
And so I started timing them and the sensation got stronger and uh, they started getting closer together. And so I, I got out of in deni- I got out of denial and I got into the reality of like, oh my gosh, I think I think this is really happening. Um, was timing the contractions and they were getting stronger and closer together. And so by the time that Sean was up and my mom were up, I had like prepped and gotten ready to alert them of like, okay, we need to get snacks for the midwives. Like it's go time. Um, and so I told Sean and how did you feel when I told you like it's go time? I was ready. No, I was. I, I knew that it was possible at any moment. I knew it was possible at any day. And so I think, I was pretty calm and collected and was like, okay, let's do you this. Were, you were. Like, I wasn't freaking out. Like no. I was like, okay, let's go. No. Let's, let's get it done. Yeah. And so I think I called our doula at around eight and she was on the phone with me while I had a contraction. So she got to listen to me and how I was breathing and everything. And she was like, mm, yeah, I, I, I think, you know, it's probably time for me to come over. So she was here by, I think about nine And by then, like, they were closer together. I was in the bathroom, like, hunched over my birth ball, just, like, really concentrating on every every contraction or every wave, as we say, um, with hypnobabies, which I used for my birth. Uh, We took a Bradley childbirth class, Mm -hmm. and um, I also did a lot of um, hypnobaby study because I'm a hypnotherapist, and I was like, hypnosis is going to be a part of my birth plan. Called the doula about 8, and then she showed up at about 9, a.m. and then um by the time that she got here <laughs> I was um pretty much like completely in active labor and uh so she got here and then very shortly after she got here she called the midwives and um they they came over pretty quickly because they realized like oh Holly's Holly's really this is really happening and then do you have anything you want to add to that initially the midwives confided to me that they were a little bit skeptical for a first time mom oh yeah that she was actually in labor that it, this was actually going to happen and they said they actually suggested that you come into the office yeah because i had an appointment that day at 11 a.m and they're like why my, don't you come in my normal um prenatal care and appointments. holly and responded i was like not i am coming not in, coming in not coming in office in. You're going to have to come here. So they <laughs> they came into their... Man, they, they were amazing. I can't say enough good things about our midwife team. They came really quickly. Um, there's a team of several different midwives. And the first, the first midwife, she came very quickly. And she took a look at things. And she pulled me over. And she said <laughs> at one point... Because you had asked her. I had asked her. We were outside of the where the action was happening. And I asked her, is this hap- Like, what's the deal? What's happening? And she's like... You're going to have a baby by lunchtime. And this was like around 9.30, in the maybe morning. 10 in the morning. And she's like, you're going to have a baby by lunchtime. And I was like, okay, let's do it. And so, yeah. She was spot on, too. Yeah. Because so, he, he came at 12.31. Mm-hmm. So we, did, we, had, our, born, we had our lunchtime baby. Yeah, so, so the team got here. Um, if you're in uh, the East Tennessee area, we worked with Welcome Home Midwifery. Great, great um, team. Amazing. Amazing midwifery. And then we, uh, Kimberly Seebeck is the doula that we hired. She goes by Knoxville Doula. Um, and just had an amazing birth team. And they were so supportive. And, like, all throughout labor, which progressed really quickly. So I, I was in, you know, really early labor starting at, like, 12.30 a.m. And then it really kicked in around, like, 7 or 8. So I was only really in true active labor for about five hours from, like, seven ish to twelve thirty ish. Um so it, I have to I have to give a shout out to um it was at least one of our viewers said, Holly, I pray that your labor and delivery does not go slowly, slowly. It didn't. It so didn't. It that went prayer quickly, quickly. That prayer was answered. The, the the labor was not slowly, slowly. It was um it was baby by lunchtime. So um yeah I just really focused on my um, mental techniques that I had been working on so hard um, all summer uh, through Hypno Babies and all the, the reading and research that we did. We just really prepared ourselves for a great experience. And um, it definitely wasn't painless. Like there was, there was pain, but more so I would say intensity. It was a lot of intense sensation, but I just kept focusing on like one at a time. You can do this and just like really, really surrendering and relaxing 
it's my incredible body. incredible to witness. Um, definitely, like, went into an altered state <laughs> where it's like you're not in your normal mind as... Um, Famous midwife Ina Mae Gaskin says you you have to go into your monkey mind. Is that what she mm-hmm. calls it? Something like your that. Your monkey yeah. brain, basically your primal animal brain. So I was I was like on another planet. But what what was it like for you watching that happen? Like I I it's really really hard because you watch so many of these birth videos, or I did, we did. Positive so, birth videos. Yeah, positive birth videos. So you get a sense of what it looks like, what an actual human birth looks like. And you get a sense of it. Uh, but to actually see it happen in real time in front of your eyes in your bedroom. Like it was, it was Henry was born like five right feet from there. where we're sitting. <laughs> um, to watch it happening in your bedroom, the birth of your of your son. I was, af- I'll be honest, I was afraid of different things that could happen. And he came out at 1231. I remember I made a point to look at the time. For yeah, some reason, so I thought excited. that was very important. You screamed though. it out four times. You were like, 1231. 1231. It's 1231. the time of birth. And so I, I made sure I remembered to, to call out the time. Mm. Hey, buddy. Hey, it's okay. And he came out and he started. I didn't catch him. The, the midwife did. And she handed him to us, and he started he started crying within two seconds. He yeah. started crying. First thing I noticed was all of this hair on his head. He had so much hair, and that's, whoa, we're, we're, we are already have to give him a haircut. He's a minute <laughs> old. We already need to give him a haircut. That's the very first thing I noticed, and it was the golden hour. Like, we sat, we laid in bed, we laid in bed and just bonded as a family on our bed it was incredible it was an amazing experience it was it was the best day of my life it was it was just incredible and so now we've still kind of been it's been surreal Mm -hmm. these past four days that this little guy is actually with us now he's actually here it's been a little bit of a challenge getting used to the sleep stuff um, That's been the biggest challenge. Fortunately, but we haven't encountered like everything else has you, been any, really easy. I, I'm sure other people can back this statement up. One thing that we've noticed is that you find reserves that you did not know that you had um, when you're dealing with that kind of yeah. thing, whether it's lack of sleep or what it, whatever it is. Like, I wake up every morning still kind of pinching myself that like, whoa, our little bub, he's actually here. He's actually with us now. Um, our little, our new little farmer, our new little <laughs> yo baby is with us now. So for those of you that are about to give birth or going through birth or thinking about it, that was our story. We just wanted to share what it was like for us. We had a pretty unique situation since we decided to do it at home. Um, again, what Holly said, I'll echo it. Home birth isn't for everybody, and that's fine. That's okay. Different people have different approaches to where they feel comfortable and safe having their baby. We were considered low risk, and we were a good candidate for home birth, and that's why we decided to, and we're happy we made that decision for us. Um, So we have a new baby, a new life, a son who's with us now, and it's the beginning of... It's the beginning of an incredible new chapter in our lives yeah it's been amazing one other funny thing i have to share um and sean i'd like you to splice some a few photos in Mm -hmm. here of the of the birthday um one other thing that was really hilarious is sean um cut the cord to the placenta it was at least an hour or two after he was born like we we let him get all of his blood from the placenta um and the cord was limp and the midwives gave Sean the scissors and they were like, okay, now you're probably going to have to work at this a little while. The cords can be really <laughs> tough. And so, so just be patient, you know, as you're cutting and Sean, Sean takes the scissors and he does like one snip and the midwives are like, whoa. And I was, I, I looked at him and I was still in like this delirious, delirious birth state. And I was like, yeah, Sean does really grisly like animal <laughs> chores around the homestead. So like, this is old hat. <laughs> But it was um, it was such an amazing day, and um, Sean and I were just um, we listened to a lot of podcasts with you know positive birth stories, and just felt like paying happy it. home birth happy is home a good birth one podcast. that we were listening to. Um, I'll probably include a link below. Yeah, to that. we just uh, wanted to share our positive story, and yeah, introduce you to our sweet little angel. Except from eleven to four, he's 
He's not an He's angel. wild. He's a wild <laughs> child. Um, and once again, we just want to thank everybody who prayed for us, um, contributed to our nursery in, in whatever way. Like the Kramers got us this awesome chair that I'm sitting on. Um, everybody who sent along your support in whatever way you did, like we are just so, so grateful. Um, and here we are sitting in our nursery space with our little bub and we have to, we were sent these like incredible quilts. And if you sent us one of these quilts, you know who you are. Like we just have to show these off because, oh my gosh, like what, what a gift. Like I can't imagine how much time we're put into these quilts. They are, they are epic. So, um, this one right here is an I spy quilt. Um, it basically is like a game where you, you know, you get your kid to identify objects and say, you know, I spy the mustache. I spy the pizza. I spy the pepperoni. I spy the salamander. Um, so this I spy quilt is amazing. Um, and what about this other one? This is other. This other one's really nice. Yes, too. this one is so so beautiful. The the um, the detail work on it is so intricate and and fabulous, and it, they're both just so well made. And um, this yellow one here has, I didn't notice it until a few days after we got it, but it has Henry's name embroidered like secretly in the corner. It's incredible. Um, the craftsmanship on these quilts is just amazing. So. Um, had to brag specifically about the quilts, but just thank you to everybody who's supported us in whatever way that you have. It means the world. Henry says thank you, too. Thank you for my all my things. And also, I'd like to send a special thank you to my friends at Perma Pastures Farm, uh, Billy and William. William, actually, when I was at the pig processing day two weeks ago, I had a really, I had a really bad night. <laughs> and William took it upon himself to send me a legit, uh, a legit farmer. I've got to say, I really don't like how close this is to the baby right now. <laughs> the baby's far away. I'm not getting it close. <laughs> but like in a, a like a legit knife. Like this is quality right here. Uh, I am so happy with this thing. I've already worn it everywhere and have like <laughs> looked for excuses to use this thing. But to my friends at Perma Pastures Farm, thank you. I'm actually going to be going out to their farm here in the next few weeks. Uh, for some additional fun times, so stay tuned for that. But get the knife away from the baby. To all my friends, <laughs> to all my friends in the homesteading YouTube world, thank you, uh, everyone that's contributed in whatever way, um, even if it was just comments and good vibes and prayers, that means the world to Holly and I. Thank you. Open. Well, hello, mister. So, Dad, hello. you are holding your grandson. He's yes. a few days old. Precious child. How does it feel to be a grandfather for the third time? All boys, too. All boys, <laughs> yeah. yes. Three, three grandsons now. Um, it's it's just miraculous. It's it, it truly is a gift. Are you happy that you live just what? 80, so we counted the steps. Oh, 83 steps. Right. Yeah, I think that's what it was. <laughs> so 84. <80 laughs> how many yards would you say well, that is? Um, it's it's less than 100 yards, I think. Uh, so, so we're close. It's pretty nice being able to grow up that close. Or but have Nana that, Jana gets to live in the same that's house. That's true, <laughs> although she is getting the barn dough built. So. Well, right. and she's she's doing the dishes and cleaning the cat Oh, poop I know. Yeah. I know. I'm just teasing. Just joshing. Yep. Um but we're so so blessed so happy to have him right next door and we get to hang out with him a lot yeah. yes grammy is not here right now she's <laughs> off running some errands but right. if she was here you can you can bet your bottom dollar she'd be she'd, she'd be, be holding him. him yep yep <laughs> yep it's good to see him awake he's been he's been quite sleepy yeah. during the day during the day and then at not night. so much at night <laughs> no that's something that's we'll talk when, about that's when the party starts <laughs> <laughs> but yes, and so I was going to ask, where do you think he got all this hair from? Honestly, I think it's more from <laughs> my, it's from me. I donated it to him. <laughs> You're welcome, Henry. Again, we just wanted to give you guys an update and introduce you to the newest cast member on the Modern Yeoman YouTube channel, Yo Baby. <laughs> and thank you. 
Thank you for everything that you guys do for us. Just watching, just sending comments is huge for us. Thank you. I've got the next month off from work, so I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff here in the homestead and on other homesteads. So stay tuned. We've got a and lot going on. And taking care of your baby. And taking care of my babies, both of you guys. <laughs> I think we're probably going to be getting some new layer chicks. I think we're going to be harvesting sweet potatoes. I think we'll probably be buying a new freezer. There's a lot that I'm going to pack into this month. So stay tuned, guys. And until we see you guys next time, remember, as always, unless it's for pregnancy, <laughs> if, unless it's for labor, slowly, slowly. slowly.